Health News. It's a special program helping patients with Parkinson's disease improve their motor skills and quality of life. Join us from Spectrum Health Medical Group to tell us more is Leah and Kiri. Good morning, ladies. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. And I know you both play a separate role in this for a combined effort in the end. But of course, you want to talk about the role that you have for the Big and Loud program. We'll start with you. Um, so I am LSVT Loud certified. Okay. I'm Leah and I'm a speech pathologist. Okay. Um, my program is aimed at helping individuals improve their speech clarity and their vocal loudness and quality. Um, as many as 89% of individuals with Parkinson's will experience changes in these areas um, and they're typically not responsive to medication. Okay. So the gold standard of treatment is LSVT Loud. Okay. And as far as you, I know we kind of did it backwards, we did loud before the big, but go ahead and yeah. talk about your role with everything. Sure. I'm Carrie, and I'm an occupational therapist, and um, in the LSVT big program, we focus on movement and quality of movement. Uh, one of the things that happens for folks with Parkinson's is that they start moving smaller and they start moving slower. Sure. And so we um, focus on helping them learn a new way of moving. Um, can you guys give us any examples of maybe some exercises or ways that you go about doing this? I'm sure it's kind of a process, obviously. It just yeah. doesn't happen overnight. You know, it's a systematic, hierarchical program, mm -hmm. so there are specific tasks that are completed each day of the program throughout the 16 visits of the program. Okay. Um, but we take those tasks and we specialize them to the individual goals and needs of the patient. You know, for my people, um, they typically have impairments in breathing and coordination of breathing and speaking so we do a lot of work on improving that um, as well as getting them to open their mouth more um, and project. Okay so let's talk about at what point and you, you kind of touched on a little bit but at what point at, at this in this disease are they entering this program the big and loud to actually better themselves a little bit? Yeah generally the earlier the better. Mm -hmm. um, there is a lot of research that shows the benefits of early intervention and of exercise. Now, I'm not saying that that will reverse the Parkinson's sure. disease, sure. but it can definitely enhance quality of life to start um, those movement patterns and to get those really learn, very well learned before the disease progresses very far. So we like to see folks early, and the neurologists that we work with also are very much advocates of sending people. Sometimes we'll see people two or three weeks after they're diagnosed, sure. um, but we also can and do see folks 10 years into the process right. as well because there still can be some benefits. So we don't want people to think it's ever really too late to give it a try no. at least, right? Or right. worth a try. Right. Not too early and not too late. Do you have any examples of any cool success stories so far from doing this that patients you're just so proud of? Yeah, you know, every patient that we see benefits in one way or another, and they all have their own specific and unique goals. Mm -hmm. You know, for a grandmother, it might be able to read a story to her grandchild, you know, but we have many individuals who've been limited in their capacity to perform one or more of their occupational responsibilities and roles. Mm -hmm. So to be able to help someone resume their activities of daily life and to be able to do so without limitation is fantastic and we have people who have been able to go back to work you know wow. to preach in front of a church or to you know speak on the phone and complete um, boardroom meetings mm -hmm. So you said normally 16 visits, you said? Yep, it's a, a four times a week for four weeks. Okay. It's a 16 visit program, so it's quite intensive. Mm -hmm. But that frequency has been based on research shown to improve um, a patient's abilities for as many as two years after, diagno or after treatment, mm -hmm. which is pretty impressive considering that it's a progressive condition. So you get towards the end of the 16, and you think if we only had a few more. Mm -hmm. I mean, are you guys willing, is there a way to kind of extend that or advance them to another program? to kind of pick up where you guys left off a little bit? Yes, definitely. Um, the 16 visits is the kind of the starting point sure. and if people need a little more we we accommodate to that the other thing is that it's not 16 visits and then you're done this yeah. is teaching people mm -hmm. and they follow through with that ongoing from the time um, from the time that they're with us mm -hmm. on through and we also tell people if you get out of your habits you can come back and we'll give you a little refresher right because the the key thing is to keep doing the exercises to not stop those patterns of movement and mm -hmm. to keep yourself moving so I'm imagining their families kind of involved too so this is stuff they can take home with them and practice as well right absolutely yeah. and from day one they practice these skills at home and we involve patients family members whenever possible so this is truly a lifestyle change mm -hmm. this isn't a, a treatment program that starts and ends right. it's the beginning of the rest of what they'll do to help promote their health and 
it's probably very rewarding for you. Yes, guys. it is. It um, is. Very, cool. very much. All right. Well, thank you so much. And to find out more about Spectrum Health's big and loud program, you can go online to spectrumhealth.org slash rehab or just give them a call at 616-391-6249. And come